Hey what's up guys it's Kazoo here and welcome to episode 58 of Skilling to Glory and uh, before we start today's episode off I want to say a big big thank you to everyone for 50k subscribers. I, uh, I hit it today and I just couldn't believe it actually it's, uh, it's a big milestone in my opinion. Uh, 50k subscribers, 50,000 people that subscribe to you. So uh, again, I would like to, I would like to thank you guys massively for that. So uh, let's get into the episode. And uh, as you can see on your screen, I'm actually buying a new team, and uh, the team is going to be a bit of a silver skill team. Uh, I saw some comments on the recent videos that you guys wanted me to make a team with uh, with Quincy Owusu Abe, the five-star skiller from Ghana, and uh, he used to be Dutch actually. He's born in Amsterdam, I do believe, and would actually be sweet if he was still Dutch in Ultimate Team. But uh, anyway, um, that was basically the main player that I wanted to build a squad about uh, around. And it was actually quite hard because um, the team that he plays in, which is uh, Panathinaikos, don't really have that many good players on Ultimate Team, uh, which was uh, which was a bit uh, unfortunate because it would be a bit of a struggle to uh, to link him up good. But as you can see, I wanted to pick him up, but he was price locked at the time. So um, yeah, that was a bit of a uh, bit of a letdown. But uh, there was a subscriber kind enough to uh, to give him to me, which was uh, absolutely awesome. But this is the team on goal. We have Verkutre from Olympique Lyon, a silver goalkeeper who links nicely up with the two centre backs, also from the league. Ah, uh, Umtiti and Zuma, and I do believe that uh, they are both really, really good for career mode. Uh, career mode on FIFA 14. So if you're a career mode fan, you probably will know those two players. Then uh, right back we have uh, Maria Nikis. Um, yeah, he's basically there for chemistry reasons. And then left back we have Emilio from Celtic with 80 pace, 71 defending and 71 heading. Then a centre mid, another Celtic player, Scott Brown with the, with the high attacking uh, attacking work rates. Uh, I'm not really sure how he will play because of that, so hopefully he will uh, he will play good. Then a centre attacking mid is Shermiti and uh, yeah, four star skill moves. He's basically there for chemistry reasons as well. Uh, center mid, we do have Mendes da Silva, a Dutch player, also with high attacking uh, attacking work rates, which is uh, I think also a bit of a yeah a bit of a thing that I um, that I don't think will work out well, but we'll see how it goes. And a uh, right wing, we do have Quincy Owusu-Abe with the five star skill, who's probably the main player of this team. And uh, like I said, he used to be Dutch, so if he was still Dutch, it would be uh, would would have been insane. Then uh, the striker. We do have uh, Yasini Shikawi with 5 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot. Uh, some people call him the uh, silver Zlatan Ibrahimovic and hopefully he will be as good as him because uh, I picked him up for 4.8k. So that's uh, that's quite cheap. And uh, left wing we do have Gary McKay Steven also a 5 star skiller from Scotland with uh, with a 4 star weak foot. And uh, this is basically the team. Hopefully it will uh, will hopefully it will perform good because I'm not really a fan of silver this year if I'm honest. Um, so hopefully it, uh, it will work out good. But um, yeah, this is the, these are the, the the kits that we're gonna pick up. A uh, new set of kits. The home kit is from Hannover Zaxanoitik from the Bundesliga, and then the away kit is from Coventry City from I do believe the third league in uh, in England. So uh, yeah, I applied a fitness card to Brown, and we went into our first game, which was an online single match. And now we can up against this team. 56 chemistry, not the best, but still he had some uh, decent goal players in his side, mainly from the Bundesliga. But uh, we start off with Chemitri on the ball, pass it off to Shikawi. He goes on a bit of a skill run. We go for a long shot here, but his goalkeeper says it has some trouble with it then from the rebound it's McGarry McKay Steven uh, he goes for a sideways volley and goes over the goal then in the 45th minute he does a through ball to Derdiok and he goes through and he makes it 1-0 which was um, yeah not really a thing that I expected so I just wanted to to get a goal back because I was so afraid that I was gonna lose uh, my first game with this team so we go on a bit of a run with uh, with Mickey Steven we go with a borrow to a shot but it got deflected and also in the end Shimitri uh, wasn't there to uh, to score a goal then uh, we have a through ball to Shikawa he goes in with the McGee he spin inside to a shot and again his goalkeeper is there to save it so we're in the 70th minute and I just decided to cross it in because I just wanted to get a goal back as I, like I said and I was just afraid that I was going to lose this game because my opponent did create some chances as well. Not really major chances but he, uh, he had a couple chances to score from. But then uh, we have Quincy on the ball, chips it to Felipe Melo how, who I uh, brought on. He cuts inside with a fake shot, he goes with a shot but again his goalkeeper saves it in the rebounds. We go with a shot with McKay Steven and again his goalkeeper is there to save it. So uh, we're in the 88th minute. And uh, again, I just I just wanted to score a goal, so uh, we go through here with Shikawi, and I just go for a shot, and we make it 2-1 uh, in the end. Not really exactly the nicest goal, but again, I just uh, 
I just didn't want to lose this game against an opponent like this. I felt that if I just played um, a bit better, just I finished my chances off like this one. The nice goal with McKay Steven. I could have won the game. Uh, could have won the game easily, but I just want to score some nice goals. And it's always hard to um, to score nice goals rather than just those uh, basic goals, I guess, and uh, still uh, still win the game actually. But uh, anyway, we moved on, and uh, as you can see. Two of my center backs were injured and I was like what the hell was going on two of my center backs were injured at the same time which was uh, which was a bit weird in my opinion but uh, we moved on and I decided to, to switch the teams uh, to another team to the 4-1-2-1-2 uh, four, uh, four, one, one, uh, hybrid skill team and decided to play another online single match with this team so we went into a game and we came up against a 4-5-1 and non Bundesliga side and now uh, we go through here with Ortega and for some reason he lets his goalkeeper out no idea why but uh, we go for a shot with Ortega and we make it 1-0 for an open net. So that was a pretty um, a pretty easy goal to make. Then in the uh, 34th minute he gets through here with Ramos. He gets his shot on goal but my goalkeeper saves it. So it's my opponent getting a chance as well. Then uh, Moreno on the ball here. A couple skill moves. Passes it off to Abate. And again his goalkeeper is rushing out. So I want to go for a chip shot but goes way over the goal. Then in the 45th minute we pick up a free kick with Guarin. But his goalkeeper is there to save it. Then now uh, we're in the second half. We have Moreno on the ball. A nice scoop turn to get past one of his uh, one of his defenders. I decide to cross it in, and then it's Jobson with a header to make it 2-0 in the 56th minute. And only a minute after it, we we intercept the ball with Jobson, pass it off to Torres. And if you look on the radar, his goalkeeper is rushing out again. And uh, yeah, we score a nice little long shot here with uh, Mancelli Torres for an open net, and we make it 3-0. The game was pretty much game over, I guess. Then in the 62nd minute, only a couple minutes after we make the 3-0, uh, we got a bit of a run here with Moreno. We chip it through to to to, uh, to Jobson, and he goes with a little lovely chip shot over the goalkeeper to make it 4-0. And uh, my opponent decides to rage quit straight after that. He had enough. And now uh, we won the game. So after that, I want to play my last game for this episode uh, with the same side with the 4 one 2 2 hybrid skill team because uh, the center backs were still injured. But then I noticed that Guarin was also injured. So we had three players that were injured at the time after only two games played. So I switched to the 4 5 1 skill team and we came against this side. He had some uh, Liga Portuguesa players and some Liga BVA players and some Serie A players. So a uh, quite strong team, especially the attack with Muriel and Ibarbo. And same as starting off with Muriel, a nice Berber spin inside he gets a shot on goal he hits the post and then from the rebound it's uh, e barbo to make it uh, to make it one nil then in the uh, 34th minute we go through here with pato which was probably our only chance in the game because uh my opponent was pretty much dominating the whole game. I was playing in the rain and against an opponent like this it's just hard to, uh, to, to to skill and yeah, basically dominate the game in my opinion anyway. Uh, we get another chance here with Carlos Eduardo. A shot on goal in the 80th minute but gets blocked off so um, yeah that is pretty much how today's episode ends guys. So uh, I hope you still enjoyed it despite me losing my final game. But um, I've got another video coming out later today which will be a tutorial. So leave a like if you would like to see that. 800 likes will be massively appreciated. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Scaling to Glory. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah that is pretty much it. Take care and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.